Friend, how are you today? I am Protulia Zeta Jones and this is Mexican Allies on the sixth day of the dress and water. Today is six Jaguar. Chicoase Ocelotl. Yesterday, on the fifth day, we had Tlazolteotl as uh, the sponsor of the day. And today we repeat Tlazolteotl because she is also the sponsor of the day Ocelotl. So, as you can see, this Tresen, the Tresen water, is a Tresen, a Tresen of a lot of cleansing, mostly cleaning ourselves from our mistakes or the mistakes we usually make. It's not a matter of trying not to make mistakes or being feeling guilty about them. It's more like identifying um, which foot uh, is the one that is weak on you, the one that bends a lot and makes you fall. And uh, well, trying not to walk. Uh, with this foot on the outer part of uh, the road because if you fall you're gonna fall into the road and perhaps you can be killed so What is the mistake or the error on uh, Your side that repeats over and over Well, there's a hint here the gods of the sixth day, the gods of the underworld, Mictlantecutli and Mictecasihuatl, they help you identify what is kind of like the inherited error that you have with you since you are a little kid, but not because you were born like this, but because you learned it from your parents or your grandparents or your friends or your society, the one you grew up in. What is the error? This is not a puzzle. This is not a matter of spend the whole day thinking, oh, what is my error? Now, the error or this mistake will come over and over, so you will see it. Perhaps it's your temper, perhaps it's uh, that you are too nosy, perhaps it's that you are too um, uh, overprotective, perhaps it's that uh, you are uh, too uh, obsessive, or uh, I don't know. What should we do with this error? Well, what should we do with the bed when we go to sleep? Should we not ever unmake it because it would be wrong because then it's unmade and uh, then it's not neat anymore? Or should we leave it all the time messy because it's going to get messy anyway? Well, both. You need to do it in order to undo it. So the mistakes we make are there for a reason, because it could seem like a mistake for us, but perhaps for other people it's a, an advantage. It's like the trees and the humans, what they expel, their, their garbage, so to speak, it's what keeps us alive. So cleaning the mistakes we have doesn't mean that you mean you don't ha you need to avoid the mistakes it means that you should put your mistakes um where they are needed where they someone else can profit from them where your mistakes are the oxygen of the other people. This is weird, huh? Because they have teachers that we shouldn't make mistakes or our mistakes are bad. 
But let's say this, I'm gonna make an, an example. Let's say that I always drop things, like uh, water. And uh, this could be a mistake if I was uh, uh, putting um, my glass of water next to a computer. But what if I put my glass of water next to a field or a garden and then I drop the water in the grass? Well, the grass will profit from my mistake. So every time I drop something, the grass will be happy. And uh, I will be complete because my mistake is a uh, welcome there. Uh, I hope you get this metaphor and uh, in a, in a tresan water with the ocelot, el ocelote, it's an animal that it was there from the beginning of the creation and he will be there until the last day. Also they say this ancient uh, mexicas. So I guess our errors are the same. They will be there from the beginning of our time till the end. Like the spots on the back of the ocelote. And these mistakes, these errors, these uh, flaws we have are so beautiful. Because think about it. Have you ever think about the stains on the skin of the ocelot as flaws or as something awful? Of course not. It's what they make him what he is. And this is how you recognize him. So today just accept your mistakes and honor them. And uh, to clean them is like making your bed you clean them so they can be ready to appear again and put them in a good use and put uh, your mistakes in yourself when you, where you are best uh, used and uh, if it happens to be next to the people that you love the most well that's uh, wonderful because then you will enjoy them and share them and be appreciated for them. So see you next time and spend a wonderful day today. And uh, you know what? I always recommend this. It's something delicious. See you next time.